Hey, this is Patrick with TakeTheTruck.com. Today I wanted to talk about our road shower. Um, this is the uh, truck camping shower that we landed on after a lot of research. And we've been using it for almost a year now, and I uh, thought it'd be a good time to take a more detailed look at it and kind of walk through the features, um, show you guys why we selected this as our truck camping shower. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and walk you through it. All right, so this is the Road Shower 4. Uh, we selected this model after a bunch of research for a number of reasons. Uh, primarily, the fact that it can be mounted on the exterior of your vehicle and that it doubles as a water storage container. Um, so we were able to free up a bunch of interior space by using this as our truck camping shower and water storage container. Um, the model we chose holds seven gallons, though they do offer a four gallon and a 10 gallon uh, option. Uh, but this uh, seven gallon model we found fits exactly inside the Yakima Load Warrior with extension. Um, so that was just a little extra protection by being able to mount it inside, um, though it does have a T-Track mounting system. That you can see on the bottom there, there's another one on the side, so it could be mounted along the outside edge of the cargo basket, um, or it could be mounted on standard uh, uh, load bars like these. So the seven gallons uh, lasts us as a family uh, anywhere from two to three days, um, depending on where we're at and uh, how many showers we have to take. But we use this water for drinking, for cooking, for cleaning, for showering. Um, so uh, it, it is all the water that we carry with us, uh, aside from our Nalgene's filled up. So um, you know, we and we do uh, use some conservation techniques uh, when showering. You know, using Navy shower um, process and and that sort of thing. But. Anyways, uh, with it set up the way we have it here, um, there are two outputs on this, on this shower, which is also another benefit uh, from others that we had seen. Um, so we've got one quick connect here at the front for installing the uh, road shower uh, quick connect uh, shower head. And then on this end, we've got the standard hose that comes with the road shower. And by doing it that way, uh, we can swing that hose around uh, to the rear of the vehicle and use it in our camp kitchen for cooking and uh, doing dishes and that sort of thing. It really works out well. Um, the way this operates, and another benefit is that there's no mechanical parts to fail on the shower itself. Um, it's, it's a pressurized tank, so this tank here is, is solid aluminum. Uh, and the top there, you can see, has a Schrader valve, like on your bicycle or a uh, car tire. And then on the back end of the tank here is the uh, water fill cap um, that just gets unscrewed and you can fill the tank from there. And it does have a built-in pressure relief valve um, in case you accidentally overpressurize the tank. Um, that said, this tank can, can withstand up to 65 PSI, so um, it's significant. The, the average house is like 45 PSI uh, when you turn the tap on, so when this is fully pressurized, um, it's, it's kind of crazy. It'll shoot a stream of water out of that hose there about 50 feet, um, which sounds a little overkill, but it's really handy for washing off gear and mud and uh, even some people uh, use it for like washing their pets off if their pets roll in mud and stuff while camping. So um, it's really handy. The, uh, the fact that it's pressurized with a standard um, vehicle tire pressure fitting um, was great for us because we have onboard air in the truck already for the air lockers. Uh, we use the uh, ARB 12 volt compressor. Um, so we can just air up the tank easily and quickly. You could just use a bicycle pump as well um, to air the tank up. But I'll, uh, I'll get it pressurized and, and show you guys kind of how that works 
and uh, we can go from there. Alright, so this is our ARB uh, 12 volt air compressor that we already had mounted in the truck uh, to operate our locking differentials and to air up tires on the trail. But you can uh, use any standard bicycle pump or uh, pick up one of those cheap uh, 12 volt compressors that plug into your cigarette lighter uh, from any big box retailer. Um, but this is how our setup is. Um, we run the hose from there back to the road shower. Um, and then I've got the, the gauge set up so you guys can kind of see that. Um, and then we simply connect it to the Schrader valve on the road shower. And air it up. probably won't take it all the way up to 65 PSI. Um, we normally get by with like 55. Uh, that's usually plenty of pressure. All right. And then we simply disconnect it. And I'll show you guys how this how this part works. This is the uh, stainless steel uh, flexible shower head from Road Shower. Uh, it is an option. It doesn't come standard, unfortunately, but um, this is a just kind of valve shut off for the water. Um, so you kick that on and you can hear it pressurize. And that's where you take your shower and then shut that off. And and then here's our kind of camp, camp kitchen faucet. Um, and you can see that's, that's probably 20, 25, 30 feet. Um, but the great thing about using this for your camp kitchen is you can regulate the, you know, the output to whatever you need, uh, whether you're doing dishes or you know, spraying some gear off. So. Anyways, that's the, uh, that's the Road Shower 4. Uh, that's our truck camping shower. Uh, we are really happy with it. Um, really don't have any, any negative things to say about it. Um, other than it, it, is, it is definitely one of the more pricey options out there. Um, but we felt like it was worth it for all the benefits. So if you guys have any questions, uh, please drop a comment down below. Um, also, be sure to check out our blog at takethetruck.com. Uh, we go into a lot more detail on the shower, um, as well as some of the bathing techniques we use while camping uh, for extended periods of time while traveling. So, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.